Hello, I'm Chris with Solar Tech TV. Today we're going to show you a little bit about uh, installing an ammeter. This here is my terminal block, which I'm using to uh, power up the ammeter. And you can see there on the bottom right that we have uh, an area that we're going to actually mount the ammeter. And you can see this workstation has a couple of DC lights. They draw 5 watts a piece. We have our charge controller there. It's showing 12.3 volts DC. And uh, we have a small battery bank as well uh, to store the energy. We don't need too large of a battery bank here for this particular workstation. And we have an inverter so that we can make AC power. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and begin drilling uh, the cutout for the ammeter. You can see that uh, the ammeter is, is actually hooked up at this point. This is all DC power coming from the charge controller. So you get a lot of variance there on the, the amount of power that it's drawing. Once again, here's our terminal block. First of its kind, it's a planar bobber terminal block. Pretty cool. Uh, so we're going to have to hook up some AC power here uh, so that we can run our jigsaw. We are using a 1200 watt power inverter. Goes to 120 volts AC. And you're going to see how much current is drawn from a jigsaw. Pretty simple. The inverter is hooked up to the batteries. 12 volts coming into it. And uh, when you flip the switch, it draws a little bit of current. For the inverter itself. And we're going to use that jigsaw. Let's see what happens. Right now we still have 1.6 amps going into our energy storage unit. And as we turn on this jigsaw, you can see that it's drawing about 30 amps, DC amps, under load. With no load right now going into the storage unit, 1.7 amps. Of course we do have some DC lighting on as well as uh, the inverter power. Definitely makes a nice cut there with the jigsaw. Try to stay within the lines there of your, your uh, cutout that you've made for your ammeter. This is a pretty rough cutout, and what we're going to do now is uh, use a Dremel tool and just square it up and right to our lines that we made there on the wood. The cutout of the ammeter, and you can see that the uh, Dremel tool doesn't draw quite so much current, even under load. You know, it's about 11 amps there under load. Take your time. Make it nice and square there so that your ammeter will fit right in. All DC powered to an inverter. After you have a nice square cutout, you can go ahead and mount your ammeter. This one is a 200 amp ammeter here at the all solar powered workstation. Probably mount that terminal block on the back side of all the wood so that it's not seen. There it is.
solar powered workstation and meter. Nice and green, free electricity. We're receiving 2.6 amps of energy, uh, which is going into our battery banks uh, for storage. And of course, we're using that inverter. This is a cool station. Got two lights on right now. Turn those off. And you can see that right now our maximum power in to the system is 3.3 amps. Pretty cool. Stay tuned for more.